Hi, this is John Fiala with Windermere Real Estate, and today we're going to have an opportunity to look at months of inventory. So we'll have a chance to see how you calculate the months of inventory, who can have an advantage of the market, buyers or sellers, and we'll look at a few examples here in King County, Washington. So let's take a look. Here's how you can figure out the months of inventory. First of all, find the total number of active listings on the market from last month. Find the total number of sold homes for last month. You can also use pending sales, but today we're going to focus on the sold homes. Divide the number of total listings by the number of total sales, which in results the number of months of inventory remaining. An example would be like two months, five months, or eight months. How can you tell where the market is? We can sometimes can tell who can have an advantage, whether it be a buyer or a seller. A buyer's market consists of six or more months, balance is three to six months, and a seller's market is zero to three months. This next chart looks at King County, Washington residential, months of inventory based off of closed sales. So you can see a bunch of numbers uh, kind of going up and down across the board, but they've kind of leveled out here towards uh, December 2011, which ended at 4.2 months of inventory, which is considered a balanced market. So you look at some of the areas up here and you can see some of the highs and lows, and you wonder what those areas are for back in December 2010 in January uh, 2011. So we have this next chart which we're going to take a look at to see why these numbers fluctuate so much. You can see here in the dark green in December 2010 the months of inventory of homes that have sold was quite a bit. People are trying to get their homes sold before the new year and then in January there was not as much homes that actually closed. So this is in correlation of why the numbers had such big dips and rises on the months of inventory. This chart is also from King County Residential, uh, looking at the closed sales, but is actually going back over the past five years. You can look at uh, July 2007, which was the height of our market. It was considered a balanced market, and it has increased uh, since then, and it's gone up to 15 months when, in uh, January 09, which is definitely considered a buyer's market. Since then, it's gone down, it's gone up, and we've ended in December 2011 at 4.2, which is considered a balanced market. So now you'll be able to understand when you hear about months of inventory, who will have an advantage, buyers and sellers, or if it's a balanced market. Thank you for learning more about months of inventory. Inventory changes by neighborhood, by zip code, and by city all the time. The more information and knowledge that you have takes out the guessing work to be able to buy a home. These statistics are updated monthly on my website, so thank you very much.